angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply, echoing their joyous strains. Hi and welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. Nathaniel and I are going to go out. Nathaniel has a choice between two places so he can choose between Stanley Park or Fort Langley. Which one are we going to go to? Fort Langley. We're going to go to Fort Langley today so we're going to drive, walk around the little town, perhaps buy some fudge and have a nice little outing on your first day of winter break. Yep. Is that exciting? Yeah. We are dressed up in the woolies. I have my scattered kisses hat on. Nathaniel is wearing one of the knit vent patterns as well. I'm wearing fingerless mug uh, mitts, although I do have proper mittens as well. And I have my snuggle down cowl on because it is chilly. And I'm going to show you the ice in a second. The little protected area, the ice in it is crazy looking. Anyway, we are going to be all warm when we go for our outing. But first, let me show you this ice. Just off the top of the ramp, you can see along the marshy area of the river, there is a coating of ice. It is definitely a chilly day, but again, we're dressed for the weather. It is sunny out and we're looking forward to getting out and doing some exploration today. We have actually changed the destination. We are going to go to Stanley Park instead. So we're going to put Stanley Park in the sat nav and then we're gonna start driving. This is the Nathaniel takeover and my mom is driving. So we've got lots of I pretty views. Just wanted to show you the scenery. What do you see in the scenery, Nathaniel? Mountains. How many mountains? Just one? Nine. Nine mountains? Yeah. What do you think of Vancouver on a sunny day? Because usually when you've driven through here, it's been really cloudy or rainy. So what do you think of this on a nice day? It looks amazing. It's very beautiful, yes. See all the snow capped mountains as we drive towards Stanley Park. Nathaniel actually wants to go to Sunset Beach, which is where the barge that got stranded is. So we're hopefully going to see the barge. While we are at Sunset Beach, we've got Nathaniel just on the seawall here. There's someone kayaking. It's about zero degrees today. So they are very, very brave. Anyway, this is Sunset Beach. We are going to continue up the road a little bit more into the bigger part of Stanley Park. We're just driving along the seawall and there's lots of boats in the bay here or the harbor. And of course, mountains in the background. And we are about uh, just a couple minutes away from where we're going to be parking in Stanley Park and then we will walk around Stanley Park for a little bit and see some sights there. Sound good? Yep. We have arrived in Stanley Park it took us over half an hour to get from the other part to here because the traffic was so, so bad. Nathaniel just spotted some wildlife. What did you see? A rodent. A rodent, some sort of mouse. I think it was a mouse, not a rat, but it was just back there. And we are going to go and I'm excited to share with you a very, very beautiful view in a few moments. 
someone is excited to take a look around Stanley Park and go see the view that we are about to see. The Lionsgate Bridge is over to our right through the trees there. So we're actually going to be a little bit above that bridge. We are at Loudon's Lookout and right behind us is the Lionsgate Bridge and it goes across to North Vancouver and I'm excited to share the view that is just behind you. It is gorgeous and it goes out to sea. So here is the view from where we are at Loudon's Point and across the bridge to North Vancouver. It is simply glorious out today. The sunshine is beautiful. I just called it Loudon's Lookout, but it's Loudon's Point. And here is a beautiful view of the harbor going out to sea. Nathaniel says he sees a couple of cruise ships in the distance. I see lots of cargo ships and some pleasure craft out here too. Anyway, this is what you wanted to do, isn't it, Nathaniel? Yes. And does that make you happy? Yes. Yes. And behind you are mountains. Nathaniel was trying to convince me that was Whistler. I don't I believe him. I not. <laughs> You're so silly. And down all those little white specks on the water are little seagulls enjoying a nice swim on a chilly day. Shall we go down the stairs here? We'll need to be really super careful because it is, it's been salted, but it is a bit icy. As we jog down the stairs, I'm holding onto the railing because I don't want to fall. And I'm definitely not pointing the camera at myself because again, as I said, I don't want to fall because that would not be good. Now the problem with going downstairs, Nathaniel, is we have to go back up, right? Just, yeah. just, just, just saying. It's beautiful fresh air out today. Wish you could be here outside with us, but wherever you are, sitting in your living room, nice, toasty, warm, with a fireplace perhaps, and some knitting. That's a pretty good alternative too. Well, we're just on the landing here. This guy's having a fun little speed, about to go under the Lion's Gate Bridge. Helicopters in the sky. We're just going to go down a path here, and the path we're going to go on is a little bit in the shade, which now I can see you again. And it's a, I guess it's like a gravel path. We'll still have to be careful of our step, but I get the idea there are some pretty views off to the sides. Stanley Park is a really, really large park. And as we were driving through trying to find parking, I thought, oh, I should be taking some video. So, Maybe a little bit later we'll do a little bit of a drive around and Nathaniel can hold the camera. Look at all the frosty foliage along the way. A little bird passed our cro cro pa crossed our path a moment ago. A little bit of sunshine here. While we were walking up to the lookout, they had a garden bed and it had pansies in it. The pansies were a little worse for wear, but it was nice to see some purple flowers. But look at all those frosty, frosty leaves and the frosty grass here too. I guess a lot of sunshine doesn't touch this path. So it is definitely retaining the chill through this area. Oh, Nathaniel, I'm not allowed to feed you. So while we're out today, no feeding allowed. Are you a little raccoon? No. No? <laughs> Do you want food? Yes. Yes, well, be good and we'll talk about it. But yes, don't feed the wilderness animals. And through the little peeps, there are beautiful views of sea and mountain. 
This little garden here has some little pansies in it. Nice to see because that gives me the hope of spring, especially on such a chilly day like today. Beautiful purple pansies. Nathaniel has just pointed out to me that it is still fall or still autumn and technically winter starts tomorrow early morning. It will be the winter solstice. Tomorrow is the shortest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. And you know what the great thing about that is? But the day after, the days start getting longer and that always makes me so, so happy. That and purple pansies in the garden here. So we have found a holly plant. So Nathaniel, take it away. Deck the holes with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. And that's all you know. <laughs> yes, there are little holly leaves through here. I don't ever know that I've seen holly in nature, but there they are. We are at Third Beach right now. I didn't make it this far over when I came to visit with my parents a few weeks ago, but we are right in a very big shipping area. There are huge shipping boats filled with cargo straight ahead. And it is a beautiful lookout point. I always love the ocean feels so nice to be around the water and it's such a beautiful sunny day today I'm so glad that we're able to take advantage of this and get out and about there is the beach down there and behind me is Nathaniel behind me there are many ships and there's a plane actually just about to go overhead too but I'm thinking that a lot of those ships are basically stranded there waiting to get port because things are so crazy with COVID right now that float plane overhead is very loud um, at least three of those boats are completely filled with cargo and I'm guessing that they are hoping to unload. So I'm wondering if there's anything there that you're waiting for that might be in Vancouver Port. Nathaniel is walking down to the seawall path. You can hear the ocean. Always such a wonderful sound. It's very busy down here today. I'm hoping the video is okay. I'm watching where I'm stepping because I'm walking downstairs and I don't want to fall. So I'm hoping you are seeing everything okay. Nathaniel has, of course, raced off ahead of me. He's like me, the ocean calls to him. Let's just take a moment and pause at the view. The sounds of the lapping ocean, they really are music to my ears. Can I say even that they're better than Christmas carols? <laughs> There's a group of ducks just in the middle. They almost look like they're rocks, but there are a couple formations of ducks and they're all going under the water. Nathaniel pointed out to me that there's actually four cargo ships that are definitely cargo. There's three and then behind one there's another one and then the other ships, Nathaniel thinks there's oil in those ships. I'm not sure what's in those ones. But Look at all the birds. Look at 
relaxing and going down to the water. I better be careful because just about to cross a bike path. Look both ways, we're good. And right down here, a little bit of beachiness, some birds, and Nathaniel has found a spot on the ocean floor. There are some steps right here. And I guess we will take the steps down to the ocean floor. Oh, that was a big step. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. What? I took a big step. I didn't realize how big of a step it was. Are you having fun? Yes. Are you finding sea creatures? No. No? What are you looking for? I don't know. Oh, okay. It just smells good. It smells good? The ocean air is nice, and then you've got all these birds here. I'm guessing this is probably low tide. We are definitely getting used to the tides where we live. But very different from when you were in Cape Cod, and you would run into the waves, and yep. it was summer then though, wasn't it? It's a little easier to run into the waves in summer than it is on the day before the winter solstice. Nathaniel is enjoying looking at the shells. I was saying I actually like to look for beach glass. Are you going to try and skip it? Two. 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 That's a fun activity too. It's a little more difficult on a wavy-ish area but definitely something fun to do. I'm switching out my mittens. I brought my kindling fingerless mitts with me, but I also brought my mittens from my Christmas Eve cast on a couple of years ago. These are the mitts from Emily Foden's Knits About, mitts, knits about Winter. These are my mitts about winter. And these are so warm and cozy. I have the lining in it as well. So it is the Viola yarn for the mitten itself. And then my liners are made with La bien Mohair silk. So they are definitely warm and cozy. Have you found a treasure? I found coral. You found coral. Looks like sushi. Want to show the camera? <laughs> How do you know it's coral? Um, my uh, teacher has some coral. Okay. Nathaniel has just found the treasure I like most, beach glass. And this looks like it used to be a brown beer bottle. And let's see. It is nice and smooth from its time in the ocean. So a little bit of beach glass. Nathaniel has been finding me little bits of sea glass. He's enjoying exploring this little area. After all the rain we've been having, it's nice to get outside and it really is so nice to enjoy a little bit of sunshine. I'm looking forward to when the weather gets a little bit nicer. It was definitely a long haul to get here, especially from the smaller park to this one but it's nice that we were able to get here today and go out for a walk. We had originally thought about going to Fort Langley but I think coming here was a good idea. I know Nathaniel has been wanting to get to Stanley Park for quite some time. Anyway we will get him off the ocean floor in a moment and we will continue to look at other areas of the park because it is such a large place. I wanted to come around to this corner to see what was on the other side and on the other side here 
There are more paths and more corners and Nathaniel has actually walked ahead around to do some exploration. I have to say he was right. The sea air smells really nice and it is definitely a nice change of scenery. Nathaniel wanted to come and see the barge and I can actually see it from where I'm standing on the seawall right here. So it is just in front of that bridge, way, way straight ahead. Nathaniel is still playing in the rocks and the water, looking for sea glass. He's enjoying that. And I'm not sure how many treasures he will have found. to see if you could see the bird and you could and there he is looking for treasures of sea glass we were speaking with a dad and his daughter and his daughter collects sea glass and makes jewelry that she sells on Etsy so they were collecting sea glass today and Nathaniel's been finding some really pretty pieces I looked down and I saw one and I said, oh, get that one there. And it was a beautiful aqua color. These are my treasures that have been found today. And that beautiful aqua one right there, right there is my favorite one today. Nathaniel has found a treasure trove of sea glass today. What are you going to do with it all? I have no idea. Put it in a drawer? Yeah, it was recommended that you get an apothecary jar and put it in your window. And at our house, that would look nice in your window. Yeah. A nice little jar of sea glass. And every time we come near the ocean, you can find some more pieces. Did you drop a piece? Yeah. Yep, got to pick it up. Well, let's take a look around the corner at the barge. It is far off, but you'll be able to see it. Your goal today, you wanted to see the barge. Do you see it now? Yeah. There we go. Mission accomplished. You've seen the sea barge. Why? You've collected, you've seen it up close, and then now from far away, you've collected some glass, you've seen the ocean. I think lunch sounds like a good idea now, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and I think we're gonna try and go to Swiss Chalet and enjoy a wonderful oh. late lunch. So I've just said to Nathaniel that just like I collect yarn in a jar, we'll get him a jar and he can collect some stones in a jar too every time we go near the ocean. And for now we're going to go back up to the car, have another little jaunt through the rest of Stanley Park and then head for lunch. Yeah, we are in Vancouver, but behind Nathaniel is a palm tree. Cue the music, Nathaniel. Now, luckily, good luck, guys. A thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we give to you. <laughs> You've forgotten the words. Oh, but, I have. No. But there are palm trees here. Look around you. There are palm trees. Merry Christmas. When we came to Stanley Park a few weeks ago with my parents, this is the area that we came down by when we got to see the cityscape and we walked by the yacht club and walked along the seawall, just all along here. And I don't know if you can see in the background the, I think that's Canada place or, um, they look like sails and that was up for, I don't know whether it was Expo 86 or the 2010 Olympics, but um, for a world-class event. Anyway, this is another section of the park. We're going to be heading out and heading home. I'm not sure where we'll go and I'm not sure whether Nathaniel's footage that he's been taking on the camera as we've been driving is going to be very usable. I think it's very shaky, but uh, it's, my arms are getting sore, Mom. But uh, we'll try and get a few little spots of the park as we're driving through for you. Anyway, I think that I will leave you 
with a little bit of scenery and then I'll check in with you in a little bit. Well, you want to see Stanley Park so this way you get to kind of get a view of how big it actually is, Nathaniel. Yep. Yeah. So there's an aquarium in Stanley Park and there are also the totem poles which we will be driving by and if you can see this sign, they have horse-drawn carriages that also go through Stanley Park and squirrels that run across the road. We are in the area of the park where they feature totem poles and there are several totem poles from different First Nations areas across BC, I'm guessing. And you can't go and touch them. There's a bit of a divide between where the totem poles are, but lots of people come and take photographs, take pictures with them, with you know selfies and things. But I wanted to share this part of the park with you as well. And this is actually the first time Nathaniel is having a chance to come and see these. We saw these a couple of weeks ago when we brought my parents. But gives him a chance to get a better picture of how much this park has to offer. From here you have a beautiful view of the Vancouver skyline. Canada Place is just in the background there. That's the building with the sails on it. And here is the Vancouver skyline. There's also a naval base just there, that brown building there, the very Georgian style looking one. But it is such a beautiful day. And I keep saying it's nice to see the sunshine. It really, really is. And it's been nice getting Nathaniel outside, walking around, and getting to see a little bit more of what Vancouver offers. So we're just overlooking Vancouver here, and there's actually a rowing club out there now. The Vancouver Rowing Club works out of here but one of the things that Nathaniel thought was really really interesting about what's in the harbor here is what Nathaniel a floating gas station there is a floating Chevron station in the middle of the harbor I think it's more interesting that people are out rowing on December 20th burr burr cold anyway there is Vancouver Har Harbor with the sunshine hitting the buildings in the golden hour. Nathaniel was pointing out that there is an airport in the middle of the harbor and just in front of us here there is an airport where float planes can come and go and there is a float plane just going in front of Canada Place right now. I'm not sure whether it's about to take off or what's happening. There's a boat that's crossing its path and behind that boat is a float plane. I hear another float plane. Maybe there's going to be one coming in for a landing. But this harbor is definitely a very, very busy place.
we are just driving through the city of Vancouver and seeing all the pretty Christmas lights as we are in stop and go, go traffic and we will be grabbing some supper and then heading home a little bit later. Did you have a nice day today, Nathaniel? Yep. Yep. I'm glad to hear it. We are about to pass a beautifully decorated tree in the middle of Vancouver. We're right near the Royal Fairmont, which is a fancy schmancy hotel. I'd love to stay there one day. But as we approach on the right here, there is a very sparkly Christmas tree. And I'm guessing this is some sort of museum. It has an exhibition with Yoko Ono Imagine, but it's the Amicon. Anyway, something pretty to look at. How tall is that tree, Nathaniel? Oh, and there's a bunch of little trees behind it. One of the things that you will see shown in Vancouver is this sphere and it always reminds me of Ontario Place and Ontario Place has this I, I don't even know what the name of them is there's also one in Epcot too but it's a, a big circle that has metal things all around it's straight ahead and we are coming up upon it and we're also coming up to I think one of the arenas where they play hockey I think it's the Rogers Arena something like that and that's up ahead on the right Ah, Hamilton tickets are going to be on sale at the Queen Elizabeth Theatre. Ha! Huh. Well, I guess I can finally see Hamilton, maybe. I wanted Nathaniel to take the camera out to show you the gorgeous view that we have from our traffic-filled drive right now and how beautiful the mountains look with the snow on the top and dusk about to hit them. That beautiful pink-purple is so so amazing anyway it is a beautiful view we are driving home i am stopped in traffic so i can chat for a moment we are wishing you a wonderful day evening whatever time it is for you and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the shortest day of the year in the northern hemisphere have a great day bye It is absolutely amazing to see all of these crows. I think this is a murder of crows that we are seeing fly overhead. They are, it's endless. There's just this endless stream of crows. They're still coming. This is unbelievable, all of these crows. They're still flying. I wonder where they're going to. Maybe they've all left Stanley Park for the day and they're all heading home just like we are and just like all the people in Vancouver are dealing with rush hour traffic. But I think I'd rather take to the skies than deal with the roads around here. Anyway, there go the last of the crows.